Hey everyone, and welcome back to Titan Souls. I was stuck on uh, that mushroom boss, but I totally like, you know, stuff. I'm gonna try the other boss, because I think it's gonna end badly. And I think these are gonna be the two toughest bosses. Honestly, I do. That's probably really short-sighted. But he has like twice as many of these. Oh. Alright, I need to rework my strat for this. I wish it didn't take so long to travel back to these two. These two take forever to get to. But, that's how it is. But I need to kind of figure out a strat for this guy. I'm the Nethesis, probably. Hit. Oh, that sucks. Well, now I'm not screwed at all. That's just a full reset. Oh. And I think that that placement of that vine is actually there purely so that you can't do the fast strat. Where you can stay right up next to it and just shoot into it instantly. Which is really unfortunate, of course, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I've never done it, but that doesn't mean that I can't. It can't be that hard to learn. Poisonous flower. Boring description again. Oh, oh geez. Can you even do that? Alright. Well, I don't know, man. I think with all these things, I might even want to shoot off a couple of the vines. That totally should have hit the vine. That looked like it hit right where it was placed, which is how you shoot them off. Oh wait, they grow back, I think, so it doesn't even matter. Maybe. Maybe they grow back. Maybe they don't. Either way, I don't like the forest bosses very much. I might give up on them for now. Come back to them later. But this one I can get to the second phase, and I just haven't tried a less, you know, fast, risky strat. So maybe it's a lot easier than I'm giving it credit for. Yeah, okay, so I got that one really quickly with the normal strat that I did. I didn't think I'd hit that shot, by the way. I was just like, oh, it's about to close right before I shoot it, so I better shoot something. I didn't think that would work. So, that's, um, great. <laughs> you know, I killed the boss. I didn't think I'd get away with it. But that's the same strat as the normal strat for me. The not fast rat. So that boss didn't really work differently. It's just this guy that doesn't seem to be the same. And this has the most creative difficulty increase that I think doesn't quite work. Man, I killed that boss so fast. I don't know how I did that. That's just pure luck. Oh, I'm stupid. Uh, well, I'm gonna attempt this more. Because since I killed that one so fast, I just. I can do this. That's the new mentality that we're taking on. I guess. You know, I guess. Why not? You shot in the different directions. I don't like this one bit. And now you're facing the wrong way. I don't like this any more bits. Again, I don't think I can just shoot where his face was last because it spins constantly. And I don't know where it's supposed to be. 
but I feel like the game's cheating on that one. Okay, we're nice and colorful. Oh, if I had known that the face would be right there, I would have gotten that. Like, definitely. I definitely would have gotten that. That's all right. <laughs> There's always next time. It's funny though. This is the complete opposite of the normal mode playthrough. The vine boss took me forever. And this boss was like first try. It wasn't actually first try. I think it was second. But actually second. So. I don't know. It might have been first try. I don't think so, but it could have been. It's funny how flipped these rolls are. I took like 20 minutes on that last boss in normal mode one, and then this time I did it in like five. Actually four or less. So, how the tables have turned. Why are you over there? That doesn't help anyone. Ugh, walked right into it. That doesn't help anyone. I wonder, I really do wonder if it's actually only there when you can, when you're, um, board and you can't shoot it if you're like lucky enough to get the proper location I'm very curious about that I mean I'm not gonna have a chance to shoot him this time because he's a jerk and what do I do about that okay I'm overdosing Oh, that was, I was dead. That was just unfortunate. Because I'm fairly certain that it did go to the top left um, before in the original, in the normal mode. I'm pretty sure it went top left. And you could just shoot it instantly. And that was great and easy and stuff. But it doesn't seem to do that in this one. Okay. Oh, that might have, like, that, see, I knew where it was gonna go, so I had to try and see if that would have hit. <sighs> if only I knew where it started. Because I really would like to just shoot it right away. Make this boss a joke like it is on normal. But I don't freaking know where its face is. This is horrible. I wish you could see its face a little sooner at least. That would be mighty nice. But you probably can... I don't know. It would be weird if you couldn't shoot its face when you're not. Um, loopy. Hey, I'm trying here, and you're not providing me enough stuff. Oh, that was a terrible shot. Hello, arrow. I missed you. I'm putting a lot of stuff out, and that's great as far as me being able to see you. That is not great as far as me being alive. Thank goodness. That didn't look like it should have hit, though, in my opinion. So I didn't think I'd get that one. So the game's kind of just giving me a, a little bit of a lenient kill there. I'm fine with that. 
Because I would have probably been on this for like forever. Alright. Ten minutes, we cleared the forest. Let's fight the two um, other bosses, I guess. The cliff face in the face. I feel like the face might be tougher if it's just made more difficult by being faster, like the other bosses have been. I'm hoping that it's like it shoots more things or something, because that would be a much better buff for it, so that you can still do the normal rat for it. So here's hoping. All right, explore this lovely land. I know. Just need to go down there. Cool. I never did that in the original and people were like, hey, why don't you roll downstairs? I never figured out you could, but, you know, it's faster as it turns out. So since this one's actually challenging, maybe. I couldn't tell. Okay. Oh, I didn't want my arrow back. Is this the exact same boss? Oh, if that hadn't hit me, which I didn't look at where it was, so it probably didn't have to hit me. If that hadn't hit me, I think I might have had him there. It's, oh god, it's because they split and bounce and stuff. Oh, they bounce. They just bounce. They don't split. Thank goodness. That's not going to work. I don't know how to deal with this now. It seems like it would be tougher to do the cheese strat that I did in the uh, first playthrough. No. That's just as easy in this one as it is in hard or normal mode, I guess. I think I might be stuck in his face again. So I might have to save and quit. Might. Probably do. Yep. <laughs> Alright, start. Two, seven killed and 72 deaths already. That's good. So the cliff face says something different, I believe, just when you have truth on. I think that's what it is. So we're going to see something else this time. Maybe. Maybe. Someone said it was if you do it last, but I assume it's actually for truth. Alright, let's do this. I was the first life. Maybe it is doing it last. First soul born from truth. Hmm. I've seen the other text, but now you haven't. Now we come full circle. Maker is unmade. And one day you will fall to the same fate. I don't know what the original one was. This might be the uh, original one or this might be the new one. I don't really know. Either way, another one killed. I'm going to save and quit for this one just to save on backtracking, because this is a long backtrack. Alright. That's a very long backtrack, and I don't think that's worth it. 
Just saved you like a minute and a half, probably. So now... Ugh, I could go do... The Night Elhanon fight, I guess. Brrr. It's right here, so I should. But first, let's see the, uh... The Mimic. Let's see the Mimic. Get in there, there we go. So, I wonder if the strat's exactly the same or not. Okay. One. Yeah, that's fine. What? I couldn't possibly dodge that. So I just had to roll, I guess. But I was running, which usually is enough, but maybe I was just in a bad position. I'm sure it was tuned to be fine, so I, like I'm saying, I, with what I was doing, I obviously couldn't dodge that. But it seems different now. What the heck? I was rolling that time. That doesn't seem like a good way to buff the boss. But I'm probably just missing something. And it's probably a fine way to do it. What the heck? What the heck? It didn't do the attack at the same time that time. I got confused and then I tried to dodge it when it actually did and I just failed horribly. Mostly because it was weird. I thought. Maybe it wasn't. Again. Probably just tuned in a way that I haven't yet come to understand. Avarice, manifestation of greed. Okay, that still works. I'll get it eventually. This one just seems like recognizing when it's doing the attack that you want and taking advantage of it. But, it seems like it's a little tougher than it needs to be. Because this boss just feels, again, most of hard mode just seems like they made the bosses move faster or something. And not enough of it was like creative changes to their difficulty. Almost had that one. I wish I knew how to influence it to do the attack sooner, though. Because there are too many coins right uh, right now with the timing that I'm getting. As I dodge better. Like, what's up with that? What the heck? That time I was doing my- I was rolling as much as I could! Ah. <sighs> I haven't come to understand this boss, obviously. So it feels like it'll just be luck when I kill it. And that's fine, I guess. What I wanted- ugh, oh, Night Elhanon is next. That's gonna be so unfun. Probably.
freaking awesome. So, yeah, I don't like this very much. I liked this boss a lot, initially. I don't like it much in this one. Just gonna be another one like the, uh... Mushroom, where it's just gonna be... The time I get it is gonna be... The time everything just works out luckily. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. <sighs> I'll figure something out. I'm guessing one thing, and it's probably right, but I haven't had time to pay attention to it because it hasn't been on my mind during the fights. So I'm gonna pay attention for it now. Yes. Okay, well, I learned something at least. I thought I had it that time, but... I think that it aims those coins well enough that... They just seem to hit you. And I don't know how to dodge them yet. So, all of the learning that I could do is meaningless in the face of the time when you actually get to hit it does not let you hit it necessarily. Okay, that was dumb. Of me, I mean. So, when it does the attack to let you hit it, maybe, uh, maybe you get to hit it, maybe not. That's what it seems like. It seems like you get to hit it if you don't get hit. And whether or not you get hit doesn't seem to be up to you. Huh. That was a good angle for that. Oh. oh. This is bad. Oh, okay, it just did that. That's fine. Seems like coins are getting too intense. That was a good angle, though, that I had it at there. I'm sad that I missed the shot. Because that looks like something that's not easy to plan for. Ugh, I'm really not excited about Night Alhan, and I hated that boss initially. didn't look like the angle it was supposed to spawn at. Oh, I didn't think that was the time it would do that. Well, sucks to be me. I wonder if you can get it in that attack. Probably. This isn't going well. Awesome. I don't know, it doesn't seem like you can actually dodge that attack. It seems like that attack is either you live because you're lucky, or you die because you're not. But again, I haven't learned it yet. Still, that's what that attack strikes me as, and that's kind of dumb. If I am in fact correct in what I'm seeing, which, who knows. Whew. Again, felt like luck, but I did at least try to aim it towards the wall, so it would work. Uh, so that it would do the thing where they hit the wall and stopped instantly like they did that other time. Like, I at least planned for that. But I do think that was luck. So, I don't know. Time for the least fun boss in the game. Nah, the, I think that the soul will be pretty bad too.
And I think the soul will be pretty darn bad as well. That arrow is not how that's supposed to be. All right. This was the connection I didn't make in my blind playthrough. Um, that he um, has to collect the arrows. I assumed that since he was shooting multiple arrows, he just had as many as he wanted. And I didn't notice them disappearing for any, like, or I noticed them disappearing, but I assumed it was just time. So that the thing didn't get cluttered with arrows, I didn't notice that he jumped to where the arrows were because I wasn't trying to keep the arrows close. Good. So, that was the mistake that I truly made, which might have helped a little bit. Oh, wow. Oh, come on. I think that this boss is going to be purely luck for me. Since, once again, it seems they just buffed him by making him faster. Which again, not very interesting. Right. And you can't attack the arrow while it's still white, by the way. Well, that sucks. <sighs> that sucks, too. That's just great. I'm not looking forward to this fight. This is just no, no cool, no cool at all. Oh well, it'll get done or it won't. I might have had a chance, I don't know. Awesome angles, man, just awesome angles. I don't know, though, um, if you have enough time to pull your arrow back or not. So, maybe that wasn't good enough. Need that. Ha <laughs> Get wrecked, noob! I did not intend for that at all. That was 100% luck. And it was also lucky, very, very lucky, that it had enough velocity to count as a kill there. That might be a better speed strat than the speed strat. I don't know what the speed strat is exactly. Still, that was lucky. I think that in that case, this is like the perfect place to call the episode. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I did not think that he would be so quick. I really didn't. So that is going to do it for today. I do hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.